Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. Okay, today uh, I wanted to show you something that has always frustrated me and I wanted to uh, show you the solution. Now, uh, you're going to have a lot of text in a lot of different Excel files and at some point in time you're probably going to wrap that text and uh, as you add more and more text to it, so we do more and more and more, notice that it expands and the cell continues to wrap and expand. Um, however, there are times that uh, you may adjust these and if you come in here and you add more and more and more, notice that it doesn't adjust the cell anymore. Uh, it's a real pain in the butt and uh, it's always um, why I've got to wrap text there. I can click on alignment and bring up the, uh, the alignment dialog box for the font and there's no control in here. Wrap text, merge cells, shrink to fit, everything seems right. Well what it turns out, what the solution is of what you need to do is you need to come over and double click in between the two cells of where you're having the problem and so what this is going to do by double clicking um, you'll see the cursor changes to double arrows between rows four and five. If you double click it, it will auto fit the row height for you, but it also resets uh, the wrap text feature so that it will expand. Notice it's now expanding again, um, but you are causing your own problem if you then go and adjust that row height. If you add text, it will no longer continue to expand for you. Now it does appear that uh, if we wrap text here and we adjust the height on this one, uh, I am in Excel 2013, um, but if I add text out here, notice it does not adjust my row height, but if I highlight the entire sheet and I do a best fit, which is in between any one of the cells, notice that it's got that double uh, arrow. If I double click on that, it now has best fit both of those rows and if I add more text notice that that cell is expanding and so is this one. Yep, it looks like uh, at least in Excel 2013 if you highlight the entire sheet and double click and best fit that row it will reset the wrap text to auto expand. I can't find it anywhere else um, in Excel. It looks like the only way you can reset the auto expand for your rows with wrap text is right in between there. Um, and if you want to not do your entire sheet, you can just go to the row that is having the problem, double click on it, best fit, and your wrap will work once again. Uh, once again, this is Steve Equals True. I'm at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. Head on over there so you can learn other great tips like this. Also, consider subscribing to my video channel so that you're sure to get the next post delivered directly to your inbox.